Hey guys, you are welcome. All right, so the subject of NAT is a favorite subject of many network engineers, and that may include you. Hence, the reason why you're watching this video right now, where you are. Now, NAT is used everywhere on routers and on firewalls, and it's so important because, of course, it helps with IPv4. Uh, preservation and um, the ability to give corporations like yours and mine uh, the opportunity uh, to preserve IP addressing paying too much money for public IP addressing during one to one NATs and um, allowing port address translation or NAT overload over the uh, exit interface like you can see here uh, where my mouse is and I'm clicking there for you to see so in this diagram you see an ASA uh, which I have in my lab here and I've got a DMZ here and a DMZ there which I can configure and I've got an in inside inside zone I can configure and outside zone I can configure but today really we're going to be discussing how you can configure network objects NAT now network objects are simply a means of grouping IP addresses or IP address related components such as subnets and sometimes individual hosts. You see, you can use network objects in many places uh, in the appliances configuration, including the NAT access rules, or even in things like people call it double NAT or twice NAT uh, configurations. But um, I'm going to go ahead and we will jump into what this really is and how we can configure it now since i mentioned um twice nuts uh, twice nuts uses a single rule to match uh, both the source and destination um, address okay uh, but network object nuts is easier to use and it's more reliable um, especially with applications such as voice over ip you know twice nut provides greater uh, granularity of configuration you know for the purpose of this um, exercise um, I'm going to focus on object network network object NAT uh, pardon me so to configure network object NAT uh, there are three steps we're going to take the first one is to create the object uh, the second one is to populate the object with IP address information and finally number three create the NAT statement so let me go ahead and bring my Cisco ASA. Now, this is my glorious Cisco ASA, which sits over here. Uh, go into global configuration mode. And whilst I'm here, I can type my object network. And I'm going to call it uh, network. And let's say I'm using 172.16. Dot twenty dot zero in this work. All right, press enter, and I specify what the subnet is. Subnet that's step number two. Subnet is one seven two, of course, uh, dot sixteen dot twenty dot zero, and I said it's a twenty four, or I should have said that earlier. Two five five dot two five five dot zero. And once that's done, I can go ahead and perform my NAT and. Look, look what it says here. So I can do NAT from where? You know, is it from inside or from outside? Where is it coming from? You know, so normally you would actually point um, the source of this of these packets. Is it coming from the inside? So let me do a question mark here. In the question mark, you see I have um, an inside interface, you give it one slash one, and another one, one slash two, and then one slash eight is the outside. So the inside, for me where I'm gonna get this source um, of uh, objects or packets coming from really is cloud one and it's going across of course to my outside interface and then I close that and I'll do dynamic and I do interface and that's all there is to it Let's verify that again. So show run begin 
and then of course it's the object and it gives me the object network object network there and then the subnet that's, so step one identify the network object secondly the subnet and finally um, you know that bit over there so um, let me see if I can quit here and do show run include object So type in show run include object nets and subnets. I have my object, I have my subnet, I have my net. Okay, so that's a quick video for you. I'll leave this here. Um, just copy this, store it somewhere if possible. Uh, I can't even copy here. Anyway, so thank you for viewing. And this is just how to configure network objects net on your Cisco firewall. All right, so leave this here and let me just actually type the steps for you here. So first you create uh, your object. And of course, uh, you saw the command there. It's object network. And then a descriptive name and then the subnet. So that's step one. So step two. Well, let's just say populate the object with uh, IP address information. Yeah. And finally, create the net statement just make it as bold so wherever you are you have uh, you see it clearly So, three step process create the objects, populate an object with IP address, and create an app statement. Uh, thank you for viewing. Uh, I'll leave this here so you see how it's done on the live um, uh, device. So, thank you for viewing, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.